A group at Panasonic has developed the Artificial Photosynthesis System, which produces organic materials with a world-leading efficiency in terms of solar energy conversion. The recently achieved efficiency, 0.2%, is on a par with that for real plants used in biomass energy. Artificial photosynthesis is a technology that uses sunlight to produce oxygen and organic substances from water and carbon dioxide like plants do, as an ideal technology that could solve both global warming and energy issues. Artificial photosynthesis is currently being researched worldwide. こちらの電気区に光を当てますと二酸化炭素が還元される反応が起こります反応が起こったところ今は黄色ですがだんだん緑になっていくと思いますこの部分が二酸化炭素は実際に反応しエネルギー源が生まれている部分です Here's how the reaction works. First of all, the photoelectrode is filled with water and illuminated. The light is absorbed and the water molecules react producing electrons, oxygen molecules, and hydrogen ions. The electrons move through wires to a catalyst electrode, where they react with carbon dioxide and hydrogen ions. This reduction reaction produces organic substances, mainly formic acid. To convert carbon dioxide in this way, electrons must be excited to a high-energy state using light. In the current system, Panasonic is using a nitride semiconductor, as in LED lamps, for the photoelectrode. In this way, Panasonic has discovered that electrons can be excited to the energy state required to react with carbon dioxide. This is an experiment using sunlight. Even in tests using actual solar illumination, the movement of electrons due to the chemical reaction can be measured as a current between the electrodes. In addition, by designing the material for the metal catalyst, it's possible to vary the type of organic substances produced. At Panasonic's lab, the latest machines have been introduced to analyze the substances. CO2 生成物が分かれていきます。で、今は義酸というものが主にできてるんですけれども、今後はその生成物を義酸ではなくて炭化水素とかアルコールとかいうようなものに持っていきたい。今までどういった触媒を用いて、どういった環境であれば、どういったもの